Hi, Carla from Cycle CPA here, a landscaping accountant. And we're gonna go over a an important key performance indicator for productivity within the field. We're gonna go over how to calculate it and also what the implications are. So it's uh, revenue per employee per hour. And you might've heard this metric a lot but it's important to know how to calculate it accurately and how to make decisions based off of that calculation. Um, and like I said, it's important to uh, see what the trends of this uh, number is over a months here, over a few months, over years, and see how you can improve uh, productivity in the field. So revenue per employee per hour is calculated by taking your revenue for the year or for the period that you're calculating it in and dividing that by direct labor hours. So uh, direct labor hours are hours that are used to um, produce for work that is being done in the field only. So it should not include hours for for example, your sales or your office staff or your managers, strictly hours that are in the field for that period. And the way that you can derive these hours are by the way that we do it and it's most accurate is we pull payroll reports from your payroll provider and we add up all the hours for the period uh, for all the direct labor. The business owner could still be uh, doing field work. And so you don't want to uh, leave those hours out. It's important to add those hours in and um, only the amount of hours that you're spending in the field. So maybe you say you work 60 hours a week and half of those hours are spent in the field and half of those hours you're making sales calls marketing, um, HR duties. So you know that on average 30 of those hours uh, you're using for in your field labor. Um, and so you want to make sure that you take that into account because that'll definitely skew the numbers if you don't. Let's say that you calculate your revenue per employee per hour to be $50 and in your area or in the industry, um, the service line that you're, you're servicing, uh, you feel that it should be higher, maybe 60, then you, you're able to determine, okay, I need to increase pricing or I need to and or <laughs> I need to work on my efficient, efficiencies in the field labor for my employees. And so you put certain policies and procedures in place and you rework your estimating system and then three months from now or a month later, however you want to calculate it, you can calculate it again to see if that revenue per employee per hour number increases as you make those modifications. And so that's how we like to track it for our clients. We like to track it. Um, how it's trending after we, you know, talk about the modifications that are needed um, for their company. Because your company, um, $50 could, could be okay because maybe you have low overhead and you're making the prof profit margin that you want. Um, but again, also it's a huge indicator for how productive your employees are in the field. The more productive that they are, the higher that that number will be. And so even if you're not looking to increase pricing or anything, it's still a good metric to track for efficiencies. Um, and you should always be working on um, efficiencies within uh, your field labor. There's another metric, uh, revenue per employee. So that's your yearly revenue. Uh, divided by the amount of field labor employees you have. And so this metric is good for letting you know when you need to hire next. 
So if you know that every employee generate, it's supposed to generate a hundred thousand uh, for your business, then you you may want to keep track of that because if you see that one employee is generating seventy five thousand and they're close to their uh, capacity, um, seventy five percent of their capacity then you know that, okay, now I have to hire another one, another field laborer, so that they can also now have um, that capacity as well. So it's a good metric to look at for uh, staffing um, and your budget on that end. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and have a nice day. Bye.